everybody, welcome back to M or not MLB Madden 16 Draft Champions mode here on the PS4. We're drafting again. We're gonna try for that 86 overall draft. We've gotten it once. We're gonna try to do it again on camera. Second attempt, and what better way than play a friend if you know we decide to play him with this? Could work out. So here we go, coaching round. We do have some choices. We have the New Orleans coach. We have Chip Kelly, and we have Mike Tomlin. Our style, we like man zone defense. We're going to go with Mike Tomlin. Round one, now we have a 76 overall base team. And there you see some of the players. And how about this first round? 93 overall, Devin Hester to his college campus days. 96, Brandon Coaxer. 97, Bruce Irvin. Well, two receivers and a left outside linebacker. Basically, what do you want more? We want that defense, and we're going to take Bruce Irvin, left outside linebacker, for the Seattle Seahawks, and he also fits our man defense. So there's round one done. Round two, no elites here. We do get 82s across the board, though, and we are going to take Jonathan Casilla there. Round three, tight end, halfback, or wide receiver. We're going to go with Ed Dixon, Super Bowl 50 edition. Why not? Carolina Panthers. And that round four comes in. It's the hologram round. Reggie Bush, Le'Veon Bell, and our call Andre Johnson. What are we going to do? Well, call it a hunch, but halfback, yeah, we might need one. But we're going to pass on both of them. We're going to take 94, Andre Johnson. Say what you will, we need receivers. Could have been a bad pick in the end, we'll find out. Round five, all golds, 80 overall. This is no tough option. Clint Bowling for the Bengals, 80 overall, highest rated. Round six, yeah, same thing. Take the highest overall if we need it in that position. That's what we do, we get three there, 84 overall. And now another legend round. This is what we need more of for an 86 overall. 97 Malik Jackson, 91 Sensabaugh, or 91 Michael Vick to the 2010 season. Yeah, we're taking Michael Vick in the Atlanta uniform. Round 8, we are over, or we're actually just halfway now through the draft. We have Jockle, Jack Muhort, and Ryan Beluga. We already have a left guard. We already have a right tackle, so we're going to take Jockle from the Jags. Little AFC division rivalry there. Round 9, don't have a halfback. Probably should have gotten the one of the two. Le'Veon Bell, Reggie Bush, but we go with Shady McCoy. Round 10, five rounds to go, 81 overall. And we have a all-rookie card there. And Marpert, we're going to pass him up. We take Steve Smith for the Ravens, and now it's on to round 11. We've already seen one Carolina Super Bowl edition card go off. Will we see another? No, we will not. We will take Griffin there. 83 overall for a right end. And now round 12. 99 golden ticket AP just came out. How could you pass him up? Well, we're going to visit a little something called Revis Island. Already had a receiver. Yes, we could have used more. Or halfback, sorry. Yes, we could have used 99 overall. But we needed cornerback, so we took Darrell Revis. Next round, get Glenn Dorsey for a D tackle. And now round 14, two to go. We're at 83 overall. Can we get three more somehow? Well, this isn't going to help us at all. We are going to end up taking here Golson for the Bucks. And now legend round. Halfback, no. Fullback, don't care. We're going to take Charles Woodson for the Green Bay Packers here. Little legend card. And that's it, everybody. 84 overall. So we did pass on a 99 golden ticket AP and you can yell at me in the comments but we needed a cornerback of that position we already had Shady McCoy and there you go 84s across the board thank you for watching we did not get it this time maybe next time out leave a like comment share subscribe do whatever you guys feel is necessary I'll see you later have a good one